My name is Kurt Kurosaki, and I'm contracted as a sound designer for Propellerhead Software. And I'm here to show you a few things about the Combinator device in Reason 4 and Record. The first thing you should understand about the Combinator device is that it comes in two flavors. There are sound modules, and then there are effects devices. Um, the Combinator itself doesn't do anything. Uh, think of it as a programming environment that allows you to create a custom uh, synth stack or a custom effects chain, which you can then save and recall later in future projects. So in this series of presentations, I'm going to demonstrate some of the general concepts behind programming the Combinator so you guys can learn how to uh, create your own synth modules, um, create custom uh, drum and rhythmic pattern generators, uh, and also your own effects chains. Um, but first, let's take a look at some of the sounds you can achieve by using the Combinator in Reason 4. So here I have a Reason Song file. I'm going to go and create a Combinator uh, patch from the Factory Sound Bank. We'll click on the Reason Factory Sound Bank in the Locations uh, column, navigate into the Combinator Patches directory, and let's select Guitar and Plucked. We'll go into this miscellaneous Guitar and Plucked directory and I'll select 777. Now looking at the combinator, you'll see the pitch, bend, mod wheel, a column of buttons here, run pattern devices, bypass all effects, show programmer, show devices, and four rotary controls and four button uh, controls. When you click on the show programmer button, this opens up the combinator programming matrix, which allows you to assign the rotaries and the buttons, as well as the pitch, bend, and mod wheel. The Show Devices button will open up the sub-rack in the Combinator so you can see all the devices used to create the sound. Let me play a little bit here. So this is a really cool dreamy slide guitar patch. It uses an NNXT uh, sampler and then runs the signal through a variety of different effects to create the soundscape. Here I've got a Reason song loaded up with a bunch of different Combinator patches. You can see, obviously, you can skin them and apply your own graphics to the uh, faceplate. Each one of these represents a different style of Combinator programming. The first here is a, a synth stack. The patch is called Calgary Mood. This one is in the factory sound bank. It uses two Thor synthesizers, and each one produces a, its own unique tone, and they're layered here. So when I play uh, into the combinator, it's triggering both of the patches simultaneously. Let's take a listen. And you can hear one. Together, and then together, another type of combinator sound patch is the keyboard split, where you have one sound mapped to the right hand side of the keyboard, and a different sound mapped to the left hand side of the keyboard. And in the programmer, you can actually see these zones. You have strings mapped to the left-hand side and the harp mapped to the right-hand side. Devices in the combinator can also be velocity mapped, meaning that they will only play when you strike a key at a certain level. This patch has several layers of string samples, and when I play it softly, you can hear the, the bass and the violins. And when I play it hard, you hear the marcato strings and the timpani kick in. One of the coolest uses of the Combinator is the creation of drum or pattern-based devices. 
Here we have Rumbatronic, and in the patch name you can see it says in brackets run. That indicates that the transport has to be running or you have to engage the pattern devices in order to hear the sound. To enable this, I'll click on the Run Pattern Devices button. That's also tied to the sequencer, so when you press play on the transport, the pattern will start playing. If we look inside of it, you'll see that there's a redrum and a matrix pattern sequencer, and these are driving subtractor synthesizers, which are creating all the percussion tones. Besides Rumbatronic, I have several other run combis like Glitch Heaven, Rex Selector, uh, EBM Kit, Cyan Monday. When I press play on the transport, all of these are going to engage. Note that the MIDI sequencer is entirely empty. There's nothing here that's been programmed or recorded. These are purely sounds generated by the combinator, uh, generating the rhythmic elements, generating the music elements, all running when I press play on the transport. Let's take a closer look at Glitch Heaven here. You can hear it's synth-driven as well as drum-driven. You have both elements going on at the same time. Rex Selector, let's take a look at that. This is a Dr. Rex loop being driven by a matrix pattern sequencer. EBM Kit is what we call a song starter combi. Um, there's a whole uh, directory full of these combis in the Reason Factory sound bank. They call it a song starter because it provides you with basically everything you need to create an entire song. It's a run, so I'm going to run the pattern devices and start playing notes. That's all coming off this one combinator, which, as you can see, has a lot of stuff going on. Arpeggiators, samplers, uh, some effects, uh, more samplers, Scream 4 distortion, uh, NNXT samplers, and Thors. It's pretty intense. Cyan Monday here is another example of a song starter patch. Uh, if we took a look inside, you could see it's got matrix pattern sequencers, driving subtractors, um, and a redrum drum machine. And if we run it, this patch has a lot of things going on. It's split with the guitar sound on the right hand, a pattern driven bass on the left hand, redrum patterns automated in the background, and also a layer with a synth sweep. Hopefully this familiarizes you with the different types of sounds you can create with a combinator, but let's just take a minute here and review the different categories. The first of these would be the most basic, where inside the combinator you would take a synth or sampler and chain it with some effects. That way you can save the patch and recall it later. The next type would be a synth stack, where you can combine layers of synths and sampler sounds inside of a combinator. Sound modules inside the combinator can be mapped across the keyboard so that you can play different patches in different ranges, and they can also be mapped to velocity so that they respond to how hard or how softly you play. Then any instrument patch can be furthered by incorporating a step sequencer from the Matrix or Thor or an RPG8 arpeggiator into the uh, combinator. And along the same line of thinking, you can create rhythm devices or drum machine combinators by using pattern sequencers or the redrum or even the Dr. Rex loop player. And naturally, you can mix and match any of these systems together to create some really interesting and stunning sounds. Well, I guess that's it for now. Next time, we'll get a little deeper into programming combinators. 
But in the meantime, I hope this inspires you to go and check out all of the Combinator patches inside the, the Reason Factory sound bank. And also go to the Propellerhead's website, check out the free refills, and if you're so inclined, check out some of the commercial refills. There's some very cool ones. And also feel free to come visit my site, pef.com. I've got a lot available for download there as well. Thanks a lot.